have to be waiting for us. <laughs> take the take the easy ride back. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> ride down should be easy. I'll tell you what. It is freaking hazy though. I am upset. I'm not going to be able to get any any landmarks because you could barely see the lake. You could barely see the Virginia Range. But we we need to, what we need to do is we need to go around and we can get on top. I can set up the tripod and try to see what is the best scenic photo for us for a team shot. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean maybe there's some clarity over here. We know it's clear over here. So we could get a decent shot of Mount Rose be behind us or something, you know? It's massive up here. It is massive. It's vast. And you could still have Sasquatch up here. I mean, if he moves around carefully, he could smell a human a couple miles away. He could easily, you know, climb this and get to the next peak. Oh, or, there's a lot of hiding spots. There's a lot of canyons, a lot of rocks, a lot of areas he could sit and lay low until it becomes dark. So... It's definitely getting windy. You can see, like you pointed out, there's Washoe Lake. Wow, you can barely see it. Thank you, Reno, for all the smog that you do. It wouldn't be smoggy if I went 40 more miles into the wilderness. Wow. It's, I'm sad and happy at the same time. <laughs> Either that or I'll slide on my ass. If I snowboard, I fall on my ass, I slide down the whole way. It is amazing, though, to be all the way up here and to do it on foot. We made good timing, so. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I want to see that lake. I'm going to park in the parking lot. We'll go to zip to that lake real quick, too. You know? I mean, it's not it's not bad, so it's an easy, easy lake to get to. It's one of those ones you just go a quarter mile over there. But still, it's a nice little addition to the website, you know? I mean, I see so many lakes. I also check for prints along the lake. Because lakes hit, are the most common place for prints. Because they got to drink, so they make hand prints and, and footprints. But you got to also take into consideration the size, the width, the length, the toes, all those things you got to take into consideration. So we, because there are humans that go swimming, so you just you got to differentiate a human foot from a from a Sasquatch foot because they're totally different, totally. Yeah, I didn't see there's. there's really no comparison. Huh, you know, a 10 foot creature is going to leave a big print. Deep. Very deep. Somebody told me online to try to argue with me and they said Bigfoot doesn't leave deep impressions. When they, they did a test, they made, a, they made a, a, a fake foot and they added 800 pounds of weight and it made it four inches deep to try to duplicate this guy's yeah. tracks. I've got, I've got four or five inches, five inches deep, so I think it's very plausible to say that something that weighs as much as a, is a, is a mount, a, a gorilla, twice as much as a gorilla, steps in some soft mud is gonna leave a four inch print. Four inch depth, definitely. Are you guys ready to go to the peak?